my stuff around and I just it just started to um, to tumble and so um, my hand was Hello? Hello? Angie? Yes. Hey, it's Mike Wasserman in Roland Velasco. Hi. Hello there. Can you hear us okay? Yes. Can you? Can you hear me? Angie, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. We are there. 300. Excellent. Why aren't you here? Where What's that? <laughs> Question, why aren't you here? This is Kat. Why aren't you here? Kat, as much as I'd love to be there for five minutes, <laughs> Driving, I just finished my 2.30 meeting to 3, which is perfect, and I went out on a, on a limb, and I scheduled a 3.30 meeting just in case we're done <laughs> with this item in a half an hour. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're going to take a 29-minute break right now and then come back. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, the July 21st meeting of the Santa Clara Valley Habitat Agency is a call to order. Do you need to do a roll, roll call? Vice Chair Courtney. Here. Board members Wasserman. Here. Velasco. Here. Varela. Here. Calnan. Here. Tucker. Here. Constantine. Here. Little. Here. And one more. The chair. Um, Mr. Glines, I think you are first up. Thank you. I'm sorry, what did you say? Mr. Glines from the Public Advisory Commission oh, is going to make a report. Thank you. Um, yesterday we did, uh, um, Edmund, Jill, and I interviewed uh, two outstanding candidates to fill the loan vacancy on the PAC board. And um, they'll be uh, it'll be coming before the implementation board in September. Um, the Interestingly enough, um, the Morgan Hill candidate read about it on uh, next door. So, you know, it's, it's Morgan Hill City Hall that's reaching out to social media and that's how we heard, uh, that's how this candidate, you know, heard about it. So, you know, think about that when you're looking for other, you know, folks to appoint to boards, commissions and whatever. Um, also, I want to welcome John um, from the Water District, Morgan Hill City Council former. Um, uh, he's another South County rep on the board, and we have the most acreage, so it's good to see another friendly face. Thank you. Uh, and then we we'll also want to invite everyone who is going to head north, get on Santa Teresa, turn left on Bailey, and then look to your left, and you will see the uh, Public Safety uh, Consortium Police and Fire Training Academy that we are building, Gavilan College, that we are building right now. It's going to be opening in uh, um, uh, in spring of uh, 2017. Evergreen is giving that up, and so um, we're welcoming them with open arms. And that's, is, are there any questions? No. Thank you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Is there any member of the public here who wishes to speak? Seeing none, I think we can move on to the consent calendar, which consists of the minutes of the May 19th meeting. Wasserman says motion to approve. Second. Second. Uh, all those in favor? Any discussion? Aye. 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 Great, we're moving right on. Uh, all right. Sorry, Mr. was that an aye from Mr. Velasco also? Yes. yes. Thank you. Approved unanimously. Mr. O Mr. Sullivan, I think uh, you yes. have the single remaining item on the agenda. Single remaining item, an important item, and we thank all of you for attending the meeting today for really the only item on the agenda that is time sensitive. And it's to authorize the executive officer to negotiate and execute and not to exceed $463,000 construction services agreement with D-Line Construction for the Calero County pa Park Pond and Wetland Restoration Project. So we, um, I'll go over a little bit of some of the details. So this is the project I've been talking about and updating the board on over the last several months. It's uh, 
we're trying to meet the requirements of two regulatory processes, both the endangered species and uh, federal and state endangered species permits per the habitat plan and advance mitigation credit f for the regional general permit through the Army Corps of Engineers. And we're collaborating with county parks on this particular site and the San Jose Water Company who needs 401 certification for their Claro water tank project, uh, which is uh, within uh, the park boundaries. So this is a, a, a joint effort um, showing the partnership working between the Habitat Agency and county parks, as well as uh, providing regulatory uh, coordination and clearance for the San Jose Water Company, who was having difficulties getting, finding a, a place to do their uh, 401 mitigation per the regional board. Uh, this went out to bid in June, 13 firms showed up to the pre-bid meeting, only one ultimately bid on the project. Um, we did some calling to find out why there weren't more firms that bid. Uh, one said it couldn't fit, uh, they couldn't meet the, the timeline, the schedule. Um, a couple firms were intimidated by the number of firms that showed up. <laughs> And two of the firms that showed up did partner on this project. So D-Line did partner with one of the other firms that showed up. And a couple of the firms uh, were not comfortable with some of the, the, uh, the necessity to do some hand augering and, and using shovels instead of heavy equipment for, for the work. So those were the reasons why some of the firms did not um, choose to bid. There was also a complaint on our bid form was a little too complicated. So that's something definitely we can change and maybe re readdress if some of these firms were a little put off by our bid form. Um, the good news is, uh, though we only got one bid, the good news is this is a well-respected company, D-Line. We did a reference check on them and uh, the references were glowing about the company and the quality of their work. We are gonna negotiate uh, this is the price that was in the bid. Uh, we're gonna negotiate with them. Uh, I'm expecting the final cost will be about 380,000, somewhere in that range. We're reducing, uh, we're eliminating one of the tasks, the uh, draining of the pond, which will now be done by county parks because that's very time sensitive. It has to begin before we would get this firm under contract. And then the other, we're, uh, uh, shrinking the size of the excavation and the amount of bentonite that would be used to line the pond. So instead of doing a quarter acre, we're only doing 1,500 square feet. So that we're estimating will reduce the cost somewhere between 70 and $80,000. So, and that's what we still have to discuss with D-Line about. So we're here today to request uh, uh, the board authorized me to negotiate with them and to sign a contract. You still have Any 40 questions? minutes. I still have 40 I minutes. Still have <laughs> I could start singing. And I, have, I have 35 minutes worth of questions. Here you go. <laughs> this Remember is Leslie Little. Little for those of you on the phone. Hi, Leslie. Hi. <laughs> um, I was curious, did you have a bid estimate beforehand? Uh, yes. What, what the expectation was for the project? Yes, and uh, it was a, a it was like $350,000 was uh, the original bid estimate. My, my experience has been that, the, um, and uh, you know, I don't have any experience with building facilities like this or some of the work that you all do in, in, in your uh, positions and um, with larger public works projects, but with restoration projects, my experience has been that uh, the price that the designer comes in seems to be less than what the construction companies bid on. Um, there are some projects I worked on in New York and in Placer County uh, that um, the designer thought it would cost this and, it, and they ended up, they, they always seem to be higher. I, I don't know why that is the case, but that's certainly the case this time. And that's part of the reason why we're um, gonna, gonna negotiate with D-Line and reduce the scope of the project to be more in line with the with the original bid estimate. My, I'm sorry, I just had one other question. So this is working in an area that um, is time sensitive because of the time of year. Is there a restriction about working in the wetlands? Correct. And that is what, that October 15th? 
kind of yes. time frame where you're prohibited from being able to work in the the area after October 15th correct okay. yeah if if we didn't have that constraint um, we wouldn't be uh, having the meeting today and trying to rush this okay. thanks just to dovetail on that Constantine. all you. right you guys Wasserman motion to approve <laughs> I have a question have another question um, <laughs> if you can't talk them down Mm -hmm. And we are approving this at 463,000. It's almost a third more than what we were originally estimating. Is, mm -hmm. is that what you've seen in the past as far as bids being higher? Are they usually a third higher? Yeah, I think okay. if we can't take them down because there's other reasons why we want to reduce the, the size of the excavation. The Army Corps was uncomfortable with us using that much bentonite on the project. So they uh, might reduce the amount of credit we would get for the project. And to be able to yeah, use the RGP, you got to do advanced mitigation, which is very different than how the HCP is set up. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, we'll set up an in lieu fee program for the RGP that'll be very much like the habitat plan, and we, we, we won't have to be doing this. So if, if we can't, uh, so we, and the water tank, we, you know, we need to drain that now, so the pond now, so we, that's why we need counterparts to do that. So um, if they can't agree to do a reduced scope, then we'll have to go out to bid again, and we'll just have to do the construction in the spring. So that brings up another question: How much water are we talking to be to drain? Um, what are we doing with it? Yeah, I, I swear, Mike, this is the last question. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be put in a, a two hundred and fifty or twenty five hundred gallon uh, plastic storage tank, and it'll be used to uh, for water for the cattle that rely on that pond for, for water. Okay. Yeah. So the the pond is mostly dry, but you got to get the the soil, you, you got to get all the water out for the soil can start to uh, desiccate, and then you, and uh, for for the excavation and the grading. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. I'll second the motion. Are there questions? I think we have a motion and a second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Was that Councilman uh, Constantine that seconded? No. I didn't, I didn't <laughs> hear who the second was. Uh, Varela. Oh, Varela. Oh, thank you, sir. You're very welcome. <laughs> and I have one quick thing to say. Thank you for approving um, this contract. But just to remind uh, all the board, we're during uh, we're going to have a special work study session to talk about the endowment for our September meeting and endowment investment and that and that will begin at uh, two o'clock. I'm just glad I brought had enough extra chairs brought into my office to handle <laughs> So uh, so that's where all our citizens are, huh Mike? Exactly. <laughs> okay. Oops, Any uh, final comments by anyone or are we prepared to adjourn? We'll adjourn. I have a I have a, uh, some information I'd like to share. So I had a conversation with uh, Stephanie Reyes. With the, she's the chief executive officer of the Greenbelt Alliance. And there's a, uh, a move, move moving forward on Laguna Seca Preserve. Uh, have we had that presentation? Have we heard that? Which is off of no. Bailey. No. Off of Bailey. OK, what, what they're suggesting at this point is to restore that particular area back to what it was 25, 30 years ago. And there's habitat in that area. They're looking at bringing it into what it was like that, that timeline. Uh, for references, it's across from the um, IBM facility and also the um, Gavilan College uh, campus. So I think it would be appropriate perhaps to invite the CEO here to give a presentation, to have a full understanding as to what the scope of, of their intentions would be and to have a better understanding and perhaps to gain support of the habitat because habitat is involved in this particular location as we all are aware. Yeah. And, and there's another location as well that uh, escapes my memory at this point, but it's adjacent to that off of uh, Santa Teresa Boulevard. Okay. So that's a suggestion I'm offering. Yeah, I, absolutely. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a. I know there are people that would love to restore those wetlands. Yes. So I'm I'm glad to hear that uh, you're taking an interest in this. And very much so. It, it'd be good to. Yes, well, the water district also has it. a very strong interest yeah. in, in pursuing yeah. with this as well. So absolutely. Okay. okay. Sounds good. I'm done. Anything else? Okay. Someone like to move to adjourn? Move adjourn. We are adjourned. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Uh, see you in September. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye.
Good job. Good. Fantastic.